Today we've got another tiny cabin. This cabin is completely off the grid, no electricity, no running water. This cabin is actually used mostly as an Airbnb and so people come in and out of it. Nobody lives in it full time, but it is still really cool and it's really, really unique. So I really want to show it to you guys. So let's start. Whenever you drive in, you come in and you see this, a fire pit, some chairs. Right here you've got a cabin with a spare bed in it in case you have some guests. And then coming on this way, inside of here is the bathroom. We've got just a regular composting toilet. If we continue down this pathway, we come to the tiny house. It's a beautiful little tiny house. We're in Waterford, Maine right now, and we're on 480 acres in the middle of the forest. The tiny house and that small little guest house are the only things on this land. So let's go check out the house. This is the tiny cabin. It's a beautifully made tiny cabin. It's 200 square foot made out of mostly reclaimed material. So it's very eco-friendly. Let's take a look inside. It's got a very main feeling to it. It really encompasses the state in the location of New England and where we are. Welcome to the tiny cabin. look to the right we've got a wood burning stove which is essential out here in Maine in the winter you would freeze to death if you did not have that the cabin is really well insulated so it stays really warm in here in the winter come over here we've got a nice kitchen table with a leaf that folds out so if you wanted to have guests over you could sit four we got three burners on the range, propane. The propane is outside of the house so you don't have to worry about leaks or anything like that. But it's nice to have three burners instead of just one in a tiny house. That's really nice. We've got a sink here. No running water. You do have to bring in your own water if you want drinking water or running water. But there is a river just a hundred yards behind the house that you can get river water and use that to wash your dishes and hands if you need to. This cabin is used for an Airbnb so people are coming in and out of it quite frequently but it's really nice because the cabinets are all stocked with the staples that you would need. If we keep moving anti-clockwise we've got this box which is our cooler and like I said since there is no refrigeration this will be your only source to keep your foods cold that need to be refrigerated. If we keep on moving through the living room, we've got a nice little couch, nice seating area to hang out and relax. This is really cool. These are the steps and this section of the steps folds down and creates a nice little table that you could use for whatever you would like. Right now we've got cards on it and that is the first floor of the tiny house. Very unique. I've never seen a house quite built quite like this. That's my favorite thing about tiny houses is every single one is very very different um, because everyone is custom made. We've got these stairs that take us up into the loft where the bed is at. And here we are in the loft. We've got a queen size bed up here. This is a pretty big bed, really comfortable. I'm actually really surprised with this loft because it's quite tall. I'm six foot and I can almost stand completely up straight, which is really impressive for a loft. The house is quite tall and that pretty much does it for the inside of the cabin. But we're not done with this area yet because outside we've got a shower as well as a raised canopy that's screened in to keep all the bugs out. It's really, really cool. Let's go take a look at that. If we take a stroll to the back of the cabin, as you can see right here on the right, we've got some hummingbird feeders. In the summer, the hummingbirds come out. And then right back here, we've got the shower. This shower is a hand pump shower. No electricity needed. You just take this, pump it up. You've got water pressure, and then you can take a shower with the nozzle here. If we continue around the back of the cabin, we got our propane here, just in case you need to replace it. And then we keep going this way and we walk down this path right here and we've got our raised screened in canopy. It's very nice to come out here for lunch or for breakfast and eat your breakfast up here, basically in the middle of the forest. You've got the screen here to keep all the bugs out. And the last thing on this property that I wanna show you guys is if we follow this path here, just about 100 yards, we come to the Crooked River. This is the Crooked River. Really nice place to come and hang out and relax. Very calm and peaceful here. If you're into fly fishing, you can fly fish here. There are salmon and trout in the river, as well as in the summer months. It's nice to take a nice refreshing dip in the river. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the Crooked River tiny house. Leave a comment below what your favorite thing about this cabin is. My favorite thing is the aesthetic and the way it feels here on 480 acres of forest in the middle of Maine, being the only building in this forest. It's really unique feel. Thank you, Lon, for inviting me to stay here. If any of you guys are in Maine and interested in staying here, the link to her Airbnb post is below in the description box. But until then, I'm going to hang out here for one more day, and then I'm headed through the rest of Maine. So I will see you guys later.